Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. My name is Dr. Yaba. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I really, really, really wanted to do this video weeks before Valentine's Day because I really wanted to inspire all my single ladies all over the world. I remember my single years really well, very vividly. I was divorced for 10 years from the age of 40 till just right before my 50th birthday, which is when I got remarried. And some days were more difficult than some for me. But one day that I honestly do remember vividly is Valentine's Day. Honestly, a few weeks before Valentine's Day, I would just start getting a little bit sad and thinking, oh, I'm going to spend Valentine's Day again without a good man. And, you know, when is this man going to come? So you you guys have been on my mind with valentine's day approaching and i really wanted to do this video about four weeks before valentine's day just to give you hope to give you light and to just bring some laughter and joy to your lives because honestly i remember how valentine's day used to be for me valentine's day was tough and then christmas time also used to be tough even though i had my kids my daughters around me but sometimes I just longed to have, you know, my own husband or really a good man beside me. So my name is Dr. Yabo. If you haven't met me, my name is Dr. Yabo Webzo. I'm a business and lifestyle coach. I'm a pediatrician. I wear many hats. I'm a mom of four. I have two daughters, two stepsons. I'm married now. I got remarried last year and I'm going to tell you my story in a second. And I'm also a serial entrepreneur because I've owned my practice for 17 years and I own other income streams so I like to inspire and motivate women to be financially independent financially free to be entrepreneurs and also how to date wisely and to find their true soulmates so this video is for my single ladies and of course if you're a married woman and you're watching it make sure that you recommend it to your single friend hello everyone my name is dr yabo i'm a business and lifestyle coach for women an author a speaker and a board certified pediatrician i really wanted to do this video for you my single ladies out there because i know valentine's day is just a few weeks away and i still remember my single years very very well those were never um, really lovely times for me on Valentine's Day when I was still single. I just remember, you know, either just spending time with my daughters, going to dinner, or they had their own plans and I had to be home alone on Valentine's Day. So my heart goes out to you, all single ladies out there, as Valentine's Day is approaching. I really wanted to encourage you that it is still possible if I can get remarried just before the the age of 50, I know you can do it. So I was single for nine years. I met my honey at the beginning of 2018. So at the end of 2017, I was still single. We met on Match.com in January 2018. He proposed October 2019. And we got married on Zoom in April of 2020. And that's why I wanted to share snippets of a zoom wedding in our home in our courtyard in atlanta with you just to encourage you that i got remarried after 10 years of divorce at the age of 49 it was 10 10 days before my 50th so i just want to encourage you that just keep living life keep enjoying yourself keep living in your purpose don't stop your life keep loving yourself doing the things that really bring you joy and you will attract a good man. So I really wanted to encourage you. And if you do need a dating or relationship coach, please sign up for my coaching so that I can help you. I love you all. Take care. Just remember, my single ladies, before you can attract your true love, you must love yourself first. You must love everything about yourself first. That is so crucial. It's very important.
wanted to tell you my story. I was married first from the age of 25 until 40. Then I got divorced. And then right after my divorce, actually, I signed on to Match.com. And I was lucky the first time around. I did meet a really good guy. He was Caucasian as well. We dated for four years. The relationship was really good, but I just knew that there were a few things missing here and there. And I just knew that I wasn't going to proceed with marriage with that man. And I broke it off and he was a good man. But again, I'm not going to go into all the details. I just knew that there were some things missing for me and I didn't want to go into marriage. So after that, I found it quite hard to find a suitable match for myself. I was on match.com for about two years after that. I think that was 2014 and just dating on and off. And I just didn't really quite find the person that matched what I needed. And then unfortunately my dad passed in between that time also in 2015. And then I started writing my writing journey started my blogging journey started i published a book my social media presence started all of that i bought my own house so a lot did happen for me during my single years and this is why i want you single women to really use your single years wisely because honestly being on your own and being single can be some of your most creative years if you use them wisely so don't just be sad and just you know stay in sorrow and just feel dejected get up find your joy find your gifts and talents live in your purpose if you would want to buy a house and you have the money buy a house don't put your life on hold because you're waiting for your prince charming you want to definitely continue your life so a lot happened for me after i broke up with this first guy i wrote my book i published my book i spoke at the united nations three times i started blogging i was present on social media it was just a really fulfilling time for me i bought my own lovely house my dream home in atlanta so there was a lot happening for me but i still had that void i still felt like you know i still wanted this partner and i'd been dating on and off and on and off and no there really wasn't anybody that really met what i was looking for and i wasn't going to settle if you've read my book you probably have read the last chapter where i said i'm not gonna settle i'm gonna look for the man that my heart really desires so i took two years off there was one day I went to church, my church in Atlanta, Buckhead Church, and our pastor was saying something like, if you've been dating a long time and you haven't been successful, just take about two years off just to focus on yourself and find yourself. And I took his advice. He wasn't talking to me. I was just sitting in the congregation. But honestly, I feel like that sermon was for me. So I did take those two years off. I believe that was 2015 because the two years i took off was um it ended at the end of 2017 okay yes so that was after my dad passed so my dad passed end of 2015 i started taking two years off from then that's when the pastor also said the sermon you know coincidentally so 2016 2017 i did no dating i just focused on myself i was blogging i was writing i was present on present on social media i was working on publishing my book my life was just doing well i was saving up the last you know few dollars to put down as down payment for my dream home so in 2017 end of 2017 i signed back on to match in november of 2017 and i'll tell you i know that my video is about the tips on how to attract a man i've seen many blogs many articles many youtube videos where people talk about manifesting their man it's the same thing I just prefer to use the word attract because I'm Christian and I feel that if you're Christian and you have your faith is strong and you believe that God is going to do something for you and you visualize it and you say it all the time and you pray and you just believe it, it will come through. That's the same thing about manifesting. So the way that I manifested my husband or the way that I attracted him 
after I took those two years off of really trying to figure out what I wanted in a man, I was writing it down. I would write it down. I would scratch it off. I kept refining and redoing my list of the th qualities I needed in a man. So in November, I stepped out to take action. I joined Match.com again after two years of absolutely no dating. And then in January of 2018, as the new year started, I wrote my master list, my well-refined list. And this is my Bible. I put it in my Bible. It's the same Bible I've had for many years. I wrote down the list. Uh, January 1st, 2018, this is my list. You see the list, you see it up there. January 1st, 2018, I wrote my list and I put it in my favorite Psalm in my Bible, Psalm 103. And I just believed it and I said to God, I know that this is the year that I'm going to meet my man because you sent the pastor to talk to me to take two years off. I was diligent and obedient. I took those two years off. Now this is what I'd like in my man and I believe it strongly. I remember that day on my bed, I was writing. It was in this house because we had moved in and I was just believing God strongly. And lo and behold, that same month, January of 2018, I was, of course, I had gone on two dates because I had joined March in November. In January was when I spotted Neil, my husband, to be on March. He had just joined a few weeks before. And that day I was just scrolling, looking for men that I you know, thought I was attracted to. And I saw him and noticed he was new to March. And I contacted him. He contacted me back. And that was the end of the story. And we started dating. And he proposed to me in October of 2019. And we, start, and we started planning our wedding. And we got married in April of 2020. We were meant to go to England because he's British. We were meant to go to England, to this beautiful countryside in Suffolk in England to get married. But God had another plan. The pandemic struck <laughs> and we had to pivot and recalibrate our plans. So we had a beautiful Zoom wedding right here in our home, in our courtyard. It was a beautiful spring day. And this is why I'm showing you the clips on this video so this is my love story and i know it can happen for you this could be you next valentine's or one month before valentine's day next year so you can attract your own husband you but you have to make sure you're working on yourself you're introspecting to know the qualities you really want in a man. Make sure you know the kind of personality traits you're looking for, the things you absolutely want, and some things that are flexible. Everything that I wrote down, I think I wrote down about 10 things. God actually gave me all 10 things aside from one thing. So, you know, God will answer your prayers. You can actually attract and manifest your own man if you believe and if you have faith. It's the same thing. All the videos you watch about how I manifested my husband, how I manifested. It's all about having a strong faith, living in your purpose, focusing on your life, living out your true life mission and true life purpose and believing that you're going to attract that man. So I really hope that you will try it. You will write down the things you're looking for in a man. You will pray. You'll put that list somewhere and then you'll just leave it aside. Have faith. Visualize it every day, but keep living your life and living in your purpose and serving people and using your own gifts to change the world. And you will see, but you also have to step out and date. The man isn't just going to fall from the sky. So now, especially in these COVID times, join a, an online dating um, a site. I know that those of you in Africa, there's not many good dating sites in Africa, but if there's no dating sites, ask your friends, put a word out there and see if you guys know of anybody, you know, just do what you can, maybe join some, some Facebook groups, join some business groups on LinkedIn, do what you can to network, to get into all sorts of groups and put yourself out there. If you are not active on social media, be active on social media, start living out your purpose, your gifts, 
start posting some beautiful pictures i'm not saying you should use it as a dating site but it's from there while you're living your purpose using your gifts in the digital online space that you'll be surprised you will attract this man so don't just stay huddled up at home depressed sad and not taking care of yourself take care of yourself do your hair do your makeup find a business coach like me to help you start to use your gifts in the online space and you'll see as you start to put yourself out using your gifts touching people living your life it's from there that somebody will notice you or somebody who knows somebody somebody who will introduce a guy to you if you hear the story of how kamala harris met her husband there's somebody introduce them to each other so but you can't get an introduction of people won't see you if you don't put yourself out there so put yourself out there clean up your instagram or facebook page start an online business start living your dream and from what you're doing living in your purpose that man will come so the way you attract and manifest your man is that you continue to live your own lovely purposeful life you put yourself out there and then you make a list of the things you want and you speak to god or whichever religion you are and you say I know and I trust and I believe that I'm going to attract this man and I'm going to get all these qualities and I know it's going to happen very soon. Now you can keep looking at the list and saying that prayer from day to day and just believing in your mind that it's going to happen. This is how I manifested my husband. So it does work. It works, but you have to believe it and you have to get up, be happy and live your own life and put yourself out there. If there's no dating sites in your country, put yourself out on social media, change your your status from private to public. Some of you have Instagram private accounts. How do you want people to see you? How do you even want to market your business when you're private? Change it to public hire me as your business coach i'll help you start to live out your dream you take care of yourself you take some nice photo shoots before you know it some of your clients will know some single man somewhere who knows somebody and they will introduce him to you so you have to know what you're looking for you have to believe it you have to visualize that man beside you that is what manifesting is and then you have to continue to live in your purpose anyway i hope this video helps and inspires somebody if you have any other questions for me about how to attract your soulmate post a comment down below i will be sure to answer your question don't just go to my instagram to post comments post it here on youtube and let me know if you like the video and if you have any questions about dating or about attracting your partner please let me know and I'll answer your question. I hope you all have a wonderful, joyous, beautiful Valentine's Day this year, even if you're single. And if you're single, remember I have a Tea Time with Dr. Yerba talk show on Valentine's Day with another relationship coach. So you can make that a date and join us. Check it out on my Instagram page and make sure you join us. And if you have any single friends, please share this video with them so that it can inspire and motivate them. And they can also believe, believe that this time next year, this could be them doing a video about how to help people because what Dr. Yabo told them to do, they did it and it worked. So these are the steps on how to manifest your own true love and your own husband write down the qualities you're looking for visualize it pray about it believe in your heart it's going to happen every day keep visualizing that man exactly as you asked god for and then make sure you figure out your gifts and talents and make sure you're living in your purpose every day and join a dating site or put yourself out there somehow while you're leaving your gifts so that this man can actually find you if you're depressed and sad at home hiding in your closet or huddled up at home he's not going to find you faith and works you have to believe you have to attract you have to manifest but you have to do your part okay you know i love you all you my single ladies 
I hope this video will help you and I hope that the clips coming up showing you about my wedding, showing you clips of my wedding will really inspire you that yes, it is possible. If I can get remarried at the age of 50, I know you can. There's a good soulmate, there's a life partner out there for every one of you all of you so don't give up whether you're 20 or you're 65 you can still find your partner that god has for you so please do not give up i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like it please comment below and i'll see you very soon with my next youtube video thank you so much and i love you all bye bye god bless pray for yabo and neil i ask that you would all join with me as i ask for god's help in their life together. Lord God Almighty, I ask that you would give Yabo and Neil the wisdom and grace to love each other in the way that you have designed. I ask that you would draw them ever closer to one another. I pray for their friendship, that they would always yearn to be together. I pray that you would help them to be patient and kind with one another, to be humble and selfless, to confess and forgive when they hurt one another. I ask that you would help them to always trust and be trustworthy and to always persevere through whatever life brings. Thank you for the gift of marriage, and thank you for bringing Yabo and Neil together. Amen. 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 All right. And as much as you, Yabo, and you, Neil, have consented together in holy matrimony and have before God and this company of witnesses exchanged vows and rings, it is with exceeding joy that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yay! Yeah, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Neil Webster. Yay! <laughs> What's that? I forgot. Yeah, he has it on the program. Oh, we're going to do the toast. Sorry? The toast, yeah. We're doing the toast here. Okay. Um, so you're going to pop the champagne. Okay. Yeah, we are. Okay. Thank you. So let's. Good job, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boys, you were very patient. Good job. Uh, and ladies, you were too. Thank you. Yeah. It's very, very hot. Particularly if you've been stood out here for an hour. Whoops. <laughs> They'll go everywhere. Do you want it to go everywhere? Do you want it to go everywhere? Yeah. Okay. I can't see from there. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I, I don't see I, his face in um, the picture. It's like uh, No, I saw him. I definitely saw him earlier. Okay. So. All right. I didn't so. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Oh, you guys need to come give Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. So nice. Yeah, Alice. Alice, turn, turn around, buddy. So if any of you have a, a beverage, please join me in toasting the couple. May you never stop learning about one another. Amen. And may each day you love one another more than the day before. Amen. 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 Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Wow, look at all those people. Where? Oh, on, oh, Zoom. on Zoom, yeah. <laughs> I know. So I'm putting it on this. Yeah, but we have to. Yeah. Let's see. Let's what? What about the boys? What about the boys? Come on, boys. Boys, 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 come, on. boys come, come here. Come here, please. Just, you just would stand. Like to let everyone know just about yeah, there are about. Could you please let everyone know about the cut? Stand it. Stand it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom are about to cut the cake. Okay. Okay, so we have to move closer. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. So speak up. So. Step closer. Let's just step closer. Okay. Stay there, buddy. Okay, I'm just gonna so everyone can see me. Hi guys. I'm just gonna say something really fast. So, um, uh, where do I start? I am so happy that today has come. My mom has been the only one for the past ten years, and I've gotten used to that. Um. But then Neil came into our lives and these precious boys. And you guys have just added so much to our lives for the past few years. And we are so, so, so happy that you, we get you for the rest of our lives. Aww. And yeah, and I'm so happy for you guys. And so all we. luck and happiness. Please. Thank you. Thank you, Renny. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay, so should we count? Or? Oh, yeah. Four. Five, four, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Feels nice. I know it does. Feels really nice and spongy. Okay, so am I cutting a slice out? Yeah. Okay. And you guys have to feed each other, right? Alice. Yeah. Right. Stand over here, boys. Are you guys smashing it? Huh? Are you being nice? Are you going to feed each other or not? Yes, we're going to feed each other. <laughs> like, yes. Lipstick? Yeah. Sorry? No. I can't do that. No, I didn't. So he he said smash them. No, no, I can't eat them. No, he did. <laughs> no, she didn't eat them. I don't know how to cut them. It's fine. Just a tiny just piece. Just like a chunk? Yeah. Okay, maybe I spill some things or something. Yeah, I spill some things. Put them back on there. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe all these people. That cake, that cake feels good. Just cutting mm, it, isn't it? Yum. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. This is enough for you guys to eat. Okay. <laughs> okay, we need forks. Oh, A4. Oh. Are you going to feed each other? That's the tradition. You go first. You feed me first. Feed. Wait, 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 wait. A tiny wait, wait, piece. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, it's fine. That's too big. Okay. Don't do it yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm not smashing it in your face. Okay. Oh, that's a very rude thing to do. Okay. Okay. There you go. Yay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yummy. Mmm, that's good. No. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Get close. Get close and small for the camera. Oh. Mmm. Is it yummy? Yes. Very nice. Yeah. Yay. Very nice. Hang on. Would you guys also give me a thing? Yeah, Moni, Renny. You want to try some? Is it? Yeah. They can have this. Oh, you want some of this, Ellis? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least one cake right yes, now. Right. <laughs> okay. Got it? You want a plastic fork? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go sit down for your job. I'm in getting the sauce. Look at this one. Yeah. And then look at each other. Okay. Wait, I want to get in one. <clears throat> of course. Uh, Renny, come on. There's cake on your dress. Where? In oh, front, come in back. front. Oh, you found it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to get one more. You think we can get one without the cake? <laughs> Let's put this down, Alice. <laughs> Just really quick. Really Alice, there's <laughs> lots of cake so for later. Like, lots yeah, of cake. Yeah, he's probably going to eat the whole cake. Mm. <laughs> Alice could probably do it, right? Yeah, he can eat the whole cake. All right, ready, guys? Okay. What if the wind just like to Renny, I have no, more shots out here myself. Okay. I got yeah. it. We can, we, we can do after wedding photo shoot. 
So, so I just want to say a few words of thanks, first of all, to my new wife, Yabo, for agreeing to marry me. <laughs> um, not only is Yabo multi-talented and beautiful, but she's been a great friend to me for the last two years. She's been a, a tower of strength, and uh, I owe her a debt of gratitude. I also want to say thank you to Moni and Rennie for being such uh, beautiful, well now stepdaughters and uh, great companions over the last two years. Um, thank you so much for everyone that's joined us online. Yes. We're so sorry we couldn't Can do this in person. Um, thanks for making the trouble on a Friday night if you're in the UK or wherever you are to, to join us today. Really appreciate it and hopefully we can still arrange something, some kind of a party in the UK at some point when, when, when times are a little different. <laughs> so thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening if you're in the UK and um, please raise your glasses uh, if you have one with us. And thanks so much to all of to our neighbours for uh, yeah. <laughs> those of you on those. Yeah, we're going to be walking along there uh, for some photos in a, in a few yeah. moments. Um, what you guys on Zoom can't see is we've got our, our neighbours who've been kind enough to take the trouble to step out this afternoon and uh, watch the ceremony from from across the way. So, thanks to everyone. Hopefully, see you soon. Thank you. We love you. Bye. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's see back. We love you. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh my God. So Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh wow. Bye. Bye. I know. That's so sweet. I don't know. Who are the McKenna? Who's Hannah McKenna? Hannah. That's a daughter of a friend of mine. Oh, that's your dad. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Hayward. Hi, Mr. Hayward. Hi, Simi. Hi, Tijan. Wrong care, baby. Toy. Hi, Tijan. Is Elena there? Where's Elena? Hi, Elena. Where are where are you? Okay. Ethan, <laughs> careful, buddy. Careful, 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 careful. Who is that? Stella? Is that Stella? Hi, Stella. Um, Hi, Stella. I agree with that, maybe. <laughs> So nice to meet those of you who I hadn't met before. Yeah. Thank you so much. I wish, I wish things were different, but again, I think you've absolutely made the most of it. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, so this is wonderful. Thank you so much. All right, Wait. so Mike, oh go ahead and get. Just undo that a second. Mm -mm. Hey, I went home with you guys. This is so good. <laughs> my chance. Do it one more time. Can you do that one more time? Huh? Can you do it one more time? Let's we're gonna do one here and then if we can come out of this so that this isn't in the background. Okay. And maybe use that background. Yeah. I love that uh tree here. That's a good idea. Yeah. And then everybody look here real quick too. Cool. Okay, wait. <laughs> it looks more better, but you Ethan, how do you know it looks more better? Okay, maybe the other way I shouldn't say it. Okay, let's just say.
Don't move. Which is natural. That's how you were looking at each other's doors. Don't look posed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh. Hold on, two more seconds. Oh, I wish we had this somewhere earlier. Yeah. Wait, Neil, don't move your eyes. I keep getting you when you're like looking at the ground or something. Okay. Okay, perfect. Guys, I didn't breathe for like five minutes. All right. Oh no, it's just your hand. <laughs> oh, it's oh, just no, <laughs> Okay, I didn't know. Let me get one with your... Look. Can I get one of you bringing her hand up to your... Like this? Whatever. <laughs> 